Yeah, somehow this bottle made it to Germany. It is a 750 milliliter. This was imported by Kirsch, at least it landed up on their website. And um, together with the Heaven Hill bottled and bond seven year old, as well as the George Dickel bottled and bond, which one was it? The 11 year old, yes. So I'll be doing those as well sometime soon. Now, um, the original price for this in America, according to the cast count, I think, now what's his name? It's not the cast count, it's the, um, the guy down in Texas. He's now doing everything on Patreon and said something with Hound. Um, he said it sh was originally 55 and then it went up to 75. I paid in Germany for this bottle. This went and it disappeared, evaporated within days. 133 euros that's 150 dollars double the price you're paying in the states and still people bought this like it was so a gift for the long lost grandma i mean come on all right 66 percent whiskey base number 177283 came arrived in canada 2021 january february started making it down the states uh, march april may and made it over here to germany in september mm. at least a few bottles did i'm gonna get rid of this um all right wait 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 there's two things i want to mention here one is um it says we only use the finest locally grown awry um, grains from canada's heartland to produce this unique taste of alberta premium and a cast strength for this very special release thank you 100 percent rye what i still want to know is it malted rye or unmalted rye hmm, i'm sorry i'm still not happy because i'm going to compare it to the lot 40 which is 100% unmalted rye, which means they use enzymes. Is that good? Is it bad? But it's the way it is. So did you use enzymes here as well? I don't know. And then we use glacier-born water in Alberta premium rye whiskey. Rocky Mountain Glacier water. Ooh, isn't that special? And we, wage, we age our whiskey in charred oak cask de mello and to deliver a result that is truly unique and full of character. Yay, thank you very much. There was a 65.1% um, release before this. Um, now, going to the... At least it didn't make it over here to um, Europe. It was up, up, but in America. Going over to the bottle. I sometimes have the feeling that this bottle is a little cheap. I don't know about you. There's something like black velvet or something, something cheap from Canada that has mist or velvet in it. And it kind of reminds me of this. Now, um, the Alberta Distillers Limited there, um, founded in 1948, uh, belongs to Beam Centauri. They make a lot of vodka there, and they also make a lot of rye. So you may not have heard of them. Well, if you have heard of Masterson, that's Alberta rye. Have you heard of the 10-year-old Whistle Pig, or the 12-year-old, or the 15-year-old? This is Alberta rye, not all of it. I still have a label here called straight rye. That's now illegal over here in Europe because you have more than one type of um, location that was on there from one more than one state. If it's made all in Kentucky, you can still put Kentucky straight rye. But if it's made in Kentucky and or Indiana, MGP and Alberta, Canada, it's not a straight rye. So um, that's that. All right, so what do I have here? I actually have a bottle of a lot 40 cast strength, amazing. So this is the 57%. This is the 2020 release. And this was in French oak, which I really didn't like as much as I liked the other stuff. 57% versus 66%. This is amazing that I can do this heavy hitter. Um, the titans of Canadian rye whiskeys against each other. So this um, a palette at least made its way over here to Germany. Um, thank you very much um, for that. And I don't know if it's half a pallet. My feeling was it was less than half a pallet made it over here to Germany. Thank you very much for that as well. Um, fantastic Beam Centauri that you're actually sending some of these very um, sought after products over here to the German market. Very, very, very good. This is a 700 milliliter bottle. This is 750. All right, on the nose. This is a heavy puncher. I like. This is Christmas in a bottle. Um, Cloves, cinnamon, 
um, allspice. Mmm. Rye. A little bit of a burnt wood moment. Um, you sometimes at Christmas time you have those candles with the pyramid and it turns, and the the candles can get a little bit hot and can singe that wood up there. That's that burnt wood moment. Just very light, a light singe of the wood. Um, is this good? Yes. How good? We're gonna see in a moment. The lot forty. Ah, very very nice as well. A little bit different. This is more Christmassy. This is more of a rye, vegetal, almost herbal flower moment. Now, they're this far away from the center each. Uh, they're not way off in left field. I have a bottle here of, um, where is my bottle? Is this this? Yes. I have a bottle stock and barrel. This is 60.3%. I made it over to Europe. I bought it from the UK. I think 2000 and about 18. Um, this is some of the worst, nastiest stuff I've ever had. Not because stock and barrel are doing bad things, but this is just a bad bottle for some reason. It's very, 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 very vegetal. Um, and it's very nasty. Um, <laughs> I know that's a terrible descriptor, but that's the way I, I did in my German video. I'm not going to touch it. I decided to pull out the big boy here with the lot 40 cast strength instead. All right, let's go over here, 66%. Cheers. Mm. There's always this point in this whiskey, and then it goes, wow. It's as if they activated the afterburners. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Um, this is almost the perfect whiskey. So, as I said, there's a rye. No, I didn't say that. As I said, there's a rye. There's that, um, that Christmas spice moment. And then it turns a tiny little bit vegetal. That's why I showed the stock and barrel. And it's like, okay, green pepper type of herbal moment. And then, oh, yeah. Oh, that alcohol. Um, those tasting notes of that spice, of that brown sugar, of that wood and vanilla moments. Wait a second. I have not actually read the tasting notes here. It says here, aroma, sweet, woody, and oaky with a hint of vanilla. Well, that's an understatement. Taste exceptionally smooth with notes of caramel. A 66% whiskey. Um, I don't know if it's smooth or not, but it is. Um, it doesn't act like 66%. Um, with notes of caramel, vanilla, and a hint of chocolate balanced with the spices of rye and black currant. Oh, didn't get the currant. Smooth and lingering with a complexity of spice, warm vanilla, and dark fruit that keeps you coming back for more. Definitely true. This is one of the whiskeys that I'm just going to enjoy for maybe like two minutes and then go back and sip again. It has such a mouth-filling presence this is a whiskey this is a this is a titan this is a heavyweight champion this is the bottle of wow from canada and this year at least this did not woo me this did not wow me as much as usual i did not like those it said here french casks i think were involved with this um this is absolutely phenomenal i'm going to give this an a minus b plus Value for money, 130 euros. Ah, C minus D. It's a D. Don't buy it if you don't have to. It is fabulous, but it's not worth that money. Um, I can buy for one bottle of this over here in Germany with 25% excise tax, a bottle of New Roof, and a bottle basically here of Wilderness Trail. This and this or that. Whoops, that was loud. Um, I would go for the Wilderness Trail and the New Riff. Yeah, um, this is absolutely fantastic, but just way, way too expensive. Now, why I'm saying this, the Lot 40 over here is not much cheaper. I have no idea what I had to pay for that. One second, Lot 40. So I paid, oh, I got this for 90 euros 90 versus 135 ouch 
All right, so basically 50% more for this. Is it 50% better? Let's try the 57%. In comparison, a little bit disappointing. There's a much more oakiness, a much more woodiness, a much more of a stringency over here. That French oak just didn't do it with, for me with the rye. Um, this was the most disappointing of the Lot 40 cast strength editions I've ever had so far. The newest one I haven't had, sorry. We have to wait for it to secretly, magically make its way over to Europe, and then they <clears throat> evaporate and disappear within minutes, hours, seconds sometimes, the feeling. I know that once one of these bottles um, showed up on the whiskey exchange, and someone wrote me an email and said, Jason, they're online. And I went online, and they were gone. And then two hours later, I received from the whiskey exchange an email that said they were online. They were la They were gone. But it was so quick that these bottles disappear over here because they're in such, such limited supply. And there is just a fan. Um, there's a fan community that love excellent rye whiskeys. And it doesn't matter if it's from the USA, if it's from Kentucky, where it's from. And we like our good um, cast strength rye. And this is more than good. It's actually like a very, very slow developing, and then boom, and it takes off. I just adore this whiskey. Alberta Premium. So question of the day, what is your favorite cast strength rye whiskey? Is it maybe something from Catoctin Creek? Is it maybe something here from um, Templeton Rye? I have something I haven't tried yet myself, just made it to Germany as well, Rosville Union. Um, I have a, um, a rye of the, from them. Um, there's so much good stuff on the market at the moment. I really am, I'm really pleasantly surprised that at least we can get a one or two bottles. It's not something that's actually in stock for a long time. But if you're quick enough and if you're informed enough, often, not always, not even I, um, often you can grab or secure at least one bottle or a sample to try and enjoy. Oh, this stuff is very, very nice. A minus, B plus plus. Hmm. Hmm. I did water it down. 50, 57, 58%. But it's so good the way it is. 66%. Amazing. Oh, mmm. And wham. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. Ah, the mouth orgasm. I just love this whiskey. Good, good, good. All right, Whiskey Jason here. I'm happy. I hope you're happy. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for liking and also telling others. Share this whiskey, whiskey video if you're so kind. And thank you very much um, for all your support and your comments. See you soon. Whiskey Jason. Bye-bye.